In this video, I'll be discussing an exam-like question on stationary waves. The question is a derivation type question, which are becoming quite common these days in A-level physics papers across all the exam boards. Once we've gone through the question, you'll get a chance to actually hear the connection between the question and some basic music theory. Let's take a look at the question. A student is considering transverse stationary waves on strings of various lengths. The frequency of the first harmonic of a string of length L is F. She believes that cutting the string into the lengths L over 2, L over 3, L over 4 would lead to the first harmonic frequencies of these shorter lengths being 2F, 3F, 4F, respectively. In general, she concludes that a string of length L over N will possess a first harmonic frequency of NF. Justify this conclusion. Assume the wave speed is constant for all strings regardless of their length. I reckon a question like this would probably be worth around 3 or 4 marks. Now I encourage you to pause the video and have a go at this question by yourself first. You'll get the most out of this video if you do so. Once you've had a go, unpause the video and we'll discuss the solution. Ok, welcome back. There's quite a lot of information here, so a very useful way to get started, as I'm sure you'll have heard before, is to draw a quick sketch or two Summarizing the info, we're told that a string of length L has a first harmonic frequency of F, so let's draw that. We're also told that shorter lengths of string, a half, a third, a quarter of the original length, will have first harmonic frequencies of 2F, 3F, 4F, and so on. In general, the student believes a string of length L over N will have a first harmonic frequency of NF, which is what we have to try and justify or prove. Clearly, there's some kind of relationship at play here between frequency and length, so perhaps a formula which links the two might be useful. What do we have? Well, there's the wave equation, which links frequency and the length, the wavelength. From the info in the question, we know that we can take the wave speed to be constant throughout. Now, we haven't been told anything regarding lambda or the wavelength in the question, at least not directly. With your understanding of stationary waves though, you should hopefully know that the distance from one node to its neighbor is half a wavelength. This means that lambda is equal to 2L, and so we can get an expression for the first harmonic frequency of the string of length L using the wave equation. Notice that we now have a relationship between frequency and length of string. The two quantities are inversely proportional to each other which is the key to justifying the student's claim. For example, halving the length of string, which means replacing L with L over 2, leads to twice the original expression, i.e. 2 times the original frequency, 2F, just as the student thought. Hopefully, you can see from all this that making L n times smaller leads to a first harmonic frequency which is n times as big as the original. Just stating this ought to be enough once you've made it clear that frequency and length are inversely proportional to one another. To be super explicit, we can see it directly like this as well. Replacing L with L over N yields a frequency of NF, so N times the original first harmonic frequency, which is exactly what we set out to try and prove. If you found the question tricky, I recommend coming back to it in the future and seeing if you can answer it yourself. That's really the test to see whether you truly understand the material. I mentioned at the start that there's a connection between the question and the theory of music. We can hear a set of notes or pitches corresponding to these frequencies F, 2F, 3F, 4F and so on as the string is progressively shortened in this fashion. This set of notes make up part of what's known as a harmonic series, which is a fundamental concept in music theory. You can find the link to this Chrome Music Lab simulation in the description, along with links to other videos in which you can learn more about the harmonic series if you want to. If you found this video useful, please like it, share it, subscribe to the Forest Learn channel if you haven't already, and leave a comment if you have any questions or suggestions. I'd really love to hear from you. Thanks for listening. 
Take care and I hope to see you soon.